color analyst Joe Glasschen Ferguson. How you doing? Right. We've got a whale of a bar tonight, Joe. The folks in the audience are going crazy. You know, oh, they're kind of crazy, psychotic anyway. Takes me back to when I used to fight. We don't know? have far to go back, Joe. We've got to go forward to Vicky Lane in the locker room. Vicky. Thanks, Bob. From the sound of it, you think the champ had already won the fight. Let's go see if we can talk to the Cisco Mansion team. Hey, How's this fight holding up to the pressures of being the favorite? He's fine. We know we're like the crowd behind us. Yeah, but what about the impressive speed, power, and agility of the challenger? Does does that scare you? No, no, no. We may not measure up in terms of head-to-head -head numbers, but we know we got the experience and we'll definitely have the crowd behind us. Yeah, well, you guys hired a lot of outside people to help prepare the Cisco kid up. How's he taking it all in? Uh, he's well, good. Well, there's hey, a little hey. bit distracted right now, all right? No further okay, questions. Get out. That's enough. Thank That's you. enough. Come on. Okay, okay. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Vicky. You know something, Joe? It's obvious from all standpoints. These fighters just don't like each other. Well, you only have to look at the way in. Okay, Crusher, here you go. Step on the scale, buddy. Way in here. Okay. The challenger, Cabletron Crusher, weighs in at 245 pounds. The champion, Cisco Kid, weighs in at 240 pounds. Is that with or without iOS and the switching? Hey, we invented iOS. We'll put it where we want. Now how's your integrated virtual networking strategy? Or haven't you bought that yet? <laughs> we will if we have to. We'll buy whatever it takes. Yeah, well, that makes for a nice, cohesive team. I mean, you guys, get out of here. Come on. Shut up. You know what you're talking about. Lots of love in that room. Why don't we see how the challenger is faring? Let's check in again with our reporter, Vicki Lane. Okay. Vicki, go ahead. Thanks, Bob. We're inside the Cabletron locker room trying to get a word with the crusher. This is Cabletron's manager, the esteemed Phil Spectrum. Phil, heading into this bout, there's been a nasty war of words between the two camps. Now it's time to either put up or shut up. I don't know how nasty it's been going to this, but uh, we've been saying in plain fact, we've got better switches, better routing, better management, better service, and we've got a better strategy also. Is your fighter ready? Is a router difficult to configure? You bet. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Back to you, Bob. Thank you very much, Vicky. Joe, what is your take on these two fighters? Well, Bob, at first glance, you might think we had a mismatch, but if you break Cisco's business down into routers and switches, it gets more interesting. Yeah, we'll give them the router edge, but when it comes to switching, which is the hottest technology in the market, it's a much more even bout. Can you compare the company's approaches to switching? Oh, it's, it's like night and day. Cisco's very aggressive, almost impulsive. They prefer to fill technology holes by acquiring companies. And the challenger, Cabletron. Now, Cabletron is a strong believer in building from within. As a result, they've worked their way up to the ranks mostly on their own. Cabletron's substantial R&D investment and forward-thinking solutions have made them a true contender over the past few years. In fact, you know, not many vendors today can boast such a tightly integrated hardware and software product line like Cabletron. But the question remains, Joe, at least for the next few minutes, can they beat the champion? That's Cisco. what we're here to find out. Yeah. We understand right now, yes, the fighters are making their way under the ring. Remember, you can keep track of this bot on the web. No, I take that back. You cannot. The online service is down. Something to do with a misconfigured router. Oh, once they again. said it would never happen. They said you'd never get these two powerhouses in the same ring. They said you'd never have them fight on even terms. Well, they were wrong. And now it's Judgment Day. Ladies and gentlemen, let the clash begin. Networld Interrupt. Cabletron Systems and the Georgia World Congress Center proudly bring you a schedule 10 rounds of furious, heart pounding, teeth rattling, no holes barred fighting action between two titans of internet working solutions. In the red corner, weighing in at a lean, mean 245 pounds. From Rochester, New Hampshire, the number one ranked challenger in the world and the vendor voted most likely to win the switching war at any cost, ladies and gentlemen, the Cabletron Crusher! Oh, looks good, he looks good. <laughs> and in the blue corner, weighing in at 240 pounds from Silicon Valley, California, the current title holder and the vendor who lives by the motto, if you can't beat him, buy him! The Cisco Kid. Let's get ready to rumble. All right, then, 
Joe, I see the Cisco kid has brought with him some of that confidence he exhibited in the locker room. Meanwhile, the pressure is all business. Well, don't let the comic series fool you. I remember a fight I had a We're concerned more about interiors now, the interior of the mind of the boxer. All there we right. go. We're ready for round one. And they are going. Cisco's come out fighting. They plant their flag in the planet internet with their 7,500 router solution. Now, Cisco's going straight for the contender's weakness. Capitan has never been a major router player. Well, how will Capitan counter Joe? They must have been a Ooh. game. There's the answer, the MAC Plus. Oh, yeah, an interesting strategy here. See, the MAC Plus is known more for its high-capacity, high-speed switching. As they continue to trade jabs here, you got to think, Joe, that the Cisco kid is a little wary of that big MAC Plus. Oh, that's right, Bob. In just over two years, the MAC Plus has earned a reputation for power, quickness, and unfailing reliability. Oh, wait, did you see that? Cable Town has integrated Cisco's iOS with the MAC Plus. I think the champ was caught off guard. Cable Town is now following up that iOS and support with a secure, fast, virtual networking. Ooh. Oh! What a combination. Absolutely. How does Cisco defend against this? Well, see, Cabletron embeds the key routing functions in its switches. Is this what they call a virtualized network? Well, I, you know, I call it a faster, cheaper, more reliable network. Joe, that was the end of round one. What do you think? Well, you know, I'm impressed with the way Cabletron has come out and challenged Cisco's router business. The MAC Plus with integrated switching, routing, and secure fast virtual networking gives it an upper hand over the 7500. Wow. Hey, for more proof, just look at the Cisco kid's face. That's kind of a nasty cut there. Oh, huh? I'm sure the question on this is that. Absolutely. Well, we'll get ready now for round two. I'm sure we're going to see more action. There it is. And let's see what happens. Joe. Oh, oh, dirty oh, shot. Dirty shot. Ambers cables on the straight switch from Canvas 5000. There's a million packets per second behind that puck. Oh, but the challenger is fighting back now with jail based on the scalable modular MAC plus. Oh, that's what I call throughput. Crowd's really into it now as the champ starts attacking with total bandwidth. Well, you know, I think the contender is up to the challenge. He answers with 10 times more bandwidth. The sheer power of the crusher is just devastating. Oh, nay, nay, don't underestimate the power of a champion. Oh, he's now fighting South Paul, targeting MAC Plus as the data center switch. That is too big for the wiring closet. Well, you know, he may have something there. Yeah, he just might, you know, it remains to be seen. He is taking the pounding right now. Oh, the champ has just been broadsided by Cabotron's new MAC Plus 6. Well, you know, that's one way to get the crowd involved. You know, the MAC Plus 6 is a new spin on the Plus, specifically designed for the wiring closet. Where are the Cisco kid can to take a great deal of punishment, but thankfully he was saved by the bell. Well, here's the scoring as I see it. Cabletron soundly wins round two. When it comes to switching, they're simply faster, more powerful, and now with the new MX Plus 6, much more flexible. Absolutely right. You know, I see some commotion over there in Cisco's corner. What does it mean? Oh, yeah, it looks like Cisco's management team can't get on the same page. That's what happens when you try to use three applications to manage one device. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Meanwhile, Never you look into the other corner of the challenger, and you know who's in charge there. Absolutely. There's the round three bell and here we go i think cisco kid could use some of that spectrum guidance so they continue to take one heck of a beating oh now cable is bombarding cisco with everything in its arsenal you are right distributed switching integrated management vlan vnet strategy oh that's gotta hurt the champ oh. is trying to collect himself joe he's pulling out cisco's last line of defense Ooh, uh, there it is service and support big mistake bob that plays right into cable strength you are right joe cable worldwide service is a cornerstone to their success oh look now they're throwing in the kitchen sink. Oh, my, that oh. had to hurt, I'm sure. Oh, there it is, right there, straight hand, straight hand. The Cisco the kid is down. Oh, he's on the canvas, look at that. Unbelievable, I do not think he's going to be able to get up, Joe. I don't think he's getting up. Let's see, he did not get to be the champ on his good looks, if you know what I mean. Oh, but he can't see, Joe, look at him there. He's struggling just to find out where he is. Oh. He's in a different country. He's on a different street. Oh, he's walking on rubber street. Look at those legs. His legs are gone. His arms are gone. His vision is gone. He can't see the future. He can't even remember who he is. I give Cisco credit for stamina, but I think the ending is a foregone. You are absolutely right, Joe. The referee should stop it right here. Right here. Somebody should. Anybody should stop this fight. This, this is, is terrible. This wrong oh. with boxing today. Oh, the humanity. Oh, stop. Oh, this is awful. We've got a mismatch. It's obvious that oh, Cisco there he goes is not again. up oh. to the challenge That's against Cabotron. Oh, can stop this. There it is. Oh, there it is. They throw to the towel. They throw to ladies and gentlemen. I don't believe this. This is one of the greatest upsets of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by a technology knockout and your new undisputed internetworking champion of the world, Cable John Cisco. I'm not surprised at all that Cable John came out on top. Well, do you think that people's perception will change as a result of this bout? I, I don't I don't see how anybody could overlook Cabletron. There's a new champion on the whole ride. And that new champion is Cabletron Systems. Ladies and gentlemen, what you've just seen is a dramatization, but the facts and the numbers are real.